everyone welcome back to my channel today is Wednesday evening it's almost 6 p.m. and I want to take you guys along with me to show you a realistic night with my newborn if you're new here welcome thank you so much for joining my name is Nicole I make videos sharing my faith family and life lifestyle I was gonna say life story well, yeah, I guess I kind of show you my life story, but anyways, <laughs> my daughter Aria is back there. I know I'm talking kind of loud. I actually want her to wake up. It's almost six o'clock, which is her next feeding. So I kind of want to show you guys the next 12 hours. I'm going to take you overnight with us so you can see exactly what goes on. A very realistic look at her nighttime routine. So she is currently three weeks old. She'll be four weeks old on Saturday. So really in just like three days. And I feel like we are starting to kind of get a routine in place. I just looked at my mom's on call book the other day. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it is this book that I swear by. People who ask me, how do you start scheduling? How do you get your baby to eventually sleep through the night? All of that. I highly recommend mom's on call. Used it with Jace. It was amazing. The schedule that they recommend in here for two to four weeks old was kind of what she was already naturally doing anyway. So we kind of organically synced up into it, which is really good. But yeah, all that to say, I'll put a little screenshot right here of what our daily schedule looks like so you can see what to expect for the next 12 hours. Also, today's sponsor is Nested Bean. I love Nested Bean. She's got her little sleep sack on right now. I will tell you more about them a little bit later in the video. Okay, it is officially six o'clock. So she's still kind of coming out of her last nap. Wow. She was just really pulling her pacifier so hard right there. And ooh, let's get the cute stretches. She is gonna start to get a little agitated and be ready for <laughs> some food, which is good. I had to run and get my haka because I forgot it and I pretty much use it every single time I do a feeding. If you're a new mom, you might not know what a haka is, but basically while your baby's breastfeeding on one side, you suction it onto the other side and it'll collect all of the letdown so you can get a little bit of milk added to your collection if you're trying to store or freeze any milk. So Jace is currently in the living room playing with Richie. So we have a moment here. I wanted to explain that with these, with this schedule and with the feedings, kind of what you focus on is sleep, eat, and play routine. Meaning that you want wake time for the baby to be right after feeding as opposed to them sleeping right after feeding. So they don't get used to like falling asleep on the boob and always having to be fed right before sleeping. So obviously with newborns, there isn't a ton of wake time as it is. And see, the problem is she's already falling asleep on my boob. She's already falling asleep. I will try to like tickle her toe, tickle her neck, her back a little bit to keep her awake and get her to relax. Hello, can we wake up please? Okay, I'm gonna take off the haka and I'm gonna actually burp her and change her diaper. I like to do that in between switching to the other side so that we can obviously get her awake. So I only had this on a few minutes, maybe like three minutes or five minutes, and I already have about two ounces. It's not a ton, but when you are doing this all throughout the day, it definitely does add up. Can you give us a nice burp? I just love when I get like a nice burp out of her. It's so satisfying. <laughs> oh, that was a little, small little girly burp. Oh, oh, we got spit up today. Okay. Ah. Oh. Okay, by the way, my nails are gonna be really ugly this entire video. I had powder dip nails on. I like ripped them off. I completely destroyed them. Okay, um, her diaper's dry, so I actually have nothing to change. Bless you. Also, the fact that we're all wearing pink is like so ridiculous. That's <laughs> what happens, guys. I have a girl and suddenly everything's pink. Okay, so I have her in this like football hold right now. <laughs> Because for some reason, and this is what she's been doing, like I said, around the 6 p.m. feeding and the 9 p.m. feeding, she just like gets so aggravated and she, she won't latch properly. When I tried a different position, this football hold, she was suddenly latching like so much better. I'll probably eventually add in a pumping session later when I need to like produce more or save more milk. And I am not using formula. I'm only exclusively breastfeeding at the moment. I'm just trying to like answer all the questions that I think people are going to ask. That's why I'm shooting out all this information to you guys. Good job. <laughs> oh, also my voice sounds really weird and it's because I'm sick. Okay. 
Last disclaimer, I promise. I just try to do a little bit of, I guess, tummy time, which is mostly just her on my chest and giving her a chance to strengthen her neck. Yeah, show everybody what you got. <laughs> Look at that neck of yours. You're so strong. Oops. There you go. Yeah. Where's mommy? You see mommy? You see mommy? Hello, Missy. Hello. <laughs> I gotta give you guys a better view of her because she just reminds me of a little birdie. There you go. Yes, you work on that neck, Missy. You see the sun outside? Is the sun shining? I see you, Mr. Banana Face. Can you be gentle? <laughs> gentle, James. Can you give her a kiss on her forehead? Give her a kiss. Say, we love you, Aria. Oh, you want to get the wipes to wipe her eyes? That's very sweet of you. Okay, things just got a little kooky. <laughs> Richie got home and then Jace is in a mood, which, you know, it's been a little challenging for him with this transition. I'll tell you guys more about that probably in another video. But then this one kept crying and wanted to be held and the only thing that would soothe her is the pacifier. So we do give her a pacifier. This is the MAM. MAM zero to six months glow in the dark one actually, which I really like because then at nighttime I can easily find it. So that's been super convenient. And I'm gonna put her down because it is a few minutes to seven o'clock. So I am gonna be putting her in her nested bean Zen One sleep sack for this nap. Actually, I put her in it for every nap and nighttime. As I mentioned, Nested Bean is sponsoring today's video. Nested Bean created Zen Sleepwear, which is the lightly weighted swaddles, sleep sacks, and PJs for babies zero to 24 months. They are actually the first ever gently weighted sleep sack that is meant to soothe your baby, basically like a hand placed over their chest to soothe them as they sleep. For Aria, she actually loves this. I think that one of the best ways to soothe her when she wakes up in the middle of the night is to lay my hand on her chest or just kind of jiggle her belly a little bit. So this is super nice because she already feels that weight on her. This helped Jace massively. And so I was excited to try it on Aria. They are very different babies. So for her, I noticed that she actually prefers to have her arms swaddled down. We tried it up for her first few weeks, but her sleep wasn't doing as good until we put it down, so it's nice that you have the option to put it up or down. Her longest stretches of sleep in the past week has been four to five hours, which is amazing for us. Obviously, that's an improvement from waking up every two to three hours to feed. So I will take four or five hours any day, and I truly think that this sleep sack is a huge part of that. I have this one, I have a pink one, and I even have, um, the future one that we'll use for her that's obviously for when she's bigger. I've been recommending them ever since Jace was born and I noticed the difference in his sleep. I tell everybody about them. I love their sleepwear. I highly recommend it and I do have a coupon code. So if you guys wanna get 15% off, you can use Nicole15 to get 15% off any full priced item on nestedbean.com. <laughs> okay, this girl's falling asleep in my arms already as I'm talking. So I'm going to try to seamlessly get her into this sleep sack. So since it's only seven, I still leave the shades open because during kind of like daytime naps, I want her to have a little bit of daytime light to distinguish from nighttime sleep, which is like pitch black in here. And of course, we always use our sound machine to drown out any noise going on in the house. And this is actually a portable one that I switched to. Um, I just wanted to try something different. I love that this is portable so we could take it with us on the go if we wanted You just hook it up like in your car seat. So I hook this on to this side of the crib, which is right near her head to drown out any noise.
Okay, I ended up going to Target while Aria was napping because I figured I'd have a couple of hours. Just got home and she is nowhere to be found. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Obviously, she's with Richie. He said that she started to cry and he picked her up and brought her into the living room and put her in the playpen that we actually keep in the living room. So they're all chilling in there right now. She'll probably be up in about 30 minutes because it'll be nine o'clock in 30 minutes. Thought I'd show you in the meantime a few things that I got. I went to the baby girl section and did a little bit of damage. I have not really done a ton of shopping for baby girl. I think you guys already know that. I was gifted a lot of things and then I just kept a lot of things to be honest from Jace and have been putting them on her. So she's kind of just wearing like very plain gray onesies and like she had her, a doggy onesie on earlier. Like I'm just repurposing things I got from Jace. Speak of the devil. Come here. I missed you so much. You want to see, you want to see what I got? Sure. I got Aria some clothes. Got her another jumper. Sure. Is that cute for Aria? And then I got her this little set, this like knit sweater, pants. I think this is actually from the boys section, but the knit, I just, I couldn't pass that up. And then did I show you guys this already? Oh, look at this little yellow one. Yeah, mommy needs to put these PJs on. I want to be comfortable. So I'm going to get ready for bedtime before Aria wakes up. I'm going to go take off my makeup, put on PJs. PJ Mask? You watching PJ Mask? PJ Mask is his new show. It used to be Thomas and Friends, now it's PJ Mask. It's hard to keep up with this little one. And I'm too lazy to do my like routine for taking off makeup, so I'm just using a baby wipe right now. I don't recommend this. Okay, I just realized I'm so thirsty. I'm totally dehydrated. I have not been having enough water today. Okay, Missy, you need to wake up. It's 9 p.m. You need to eat. Like I said, it's 9 p.m. and it's usually a hit or miss. Like sometimes she does not do well breastfeeding at this point of the day. She doesn't want a lot. She's super agitated. So that's when we just give her a bottle with like three to four ounces of milk to make sure she's getting nice and full. Right now, she's actually latched pretty well. Obviously, we want her to get nice and full now because this is where we'll get hopefully the longest stretch of sleep. The past like four or five nights, she's been doing really good in her first stretch and like sleeping from four to five hours. So we'll put her down around like 9.30ish and then she wakes up around two in the morning. Wow, that was actually a really good breastfeeding session. You know, it's good when she's dozing off and just making mouse noises. I'm gonna just give her one last little burp just in case she's got anything else in there. Oh, was that a burp? Okay. Oh my gosh. How many burps do you have? And I got the hiccups, okay. Oh. So after this 9 p.m. feeding, we don't really do wake time because it's like officially the last nighttime feeding. So for nighttime, I always swaddle her in her nested bean with her arms straight down because she seems to be sleeping a lot better when it's like that. So we just go like that. We're gonna zip her up. She's got her passy and I always clip this on here like that. There we go. A few things I wanted to mention, I always make sure that the curtains are drawn. As I mentioned, they're blackout curtains. So this is like officially her nighttime, nighttime sleep. And then I always make sure that everything is prepared on my nightstand because this is kind of my workstation throughout the night. Okay, I just went to go refill my water bottle. Just to make sure I'm nice and hydrated tonight. I also grabbed some cough syrup because I think I'm gonna need to take more of this. And Richie is finally joining us for the evening. Are you looking forward to another? Don't call me late. This is why he's never in my videos, guys. No, I'm just letting them know this is our routine. So it's 9.30. And we... I'm usually on my stomach and knocked out. He's usually already knocked out by now. I'm putting her to sleep. And then, honestly, we've been going to bed pretty early. But oh, sometimes... Yeah, this feels so good. 
Huh? Sometimes we'll just sit on our phones for a little bit after we put her in the crib and then we knock out. It doesn't last very long nowadays. Your crinkle hair is so cute. My crinkle hair. Richie? All right, Richie cut the lights, so we're going to stop. Oh, you told me to do it again. Just stop messing with the lights. She's down. We've got her down. Sound machine. And I'll check back in with you guys, hopefully at 2 a.m. Richie? Bye, everybody. <laughs> So five minutes later, she ended up waking up and I did try to soothe her by jiggling her belly a little bit, but I think she was just still hungry. So I gave her a little top off as I like to call it, which knocked her out right quick. There was two more times that she was whining a bit throughout the night, which is normal. And I simply just put the pacifier back in her mouth, pet her stomach a little bit to help her fall back asleep. I usually do all of this easily by laying down next to her and I don't even turn the lights on, but obviously I wanted to film to show you guys how quickly she goes back down. Her waking up doesn't necessarily always mean she's hungry right away, so I always make sure to try out these soothing techniques before I actually pick her up to rock her or feed her. I think it's a really good way to stretch out sleep a little bit longer. By the time she fully woke up and was ready to feed, it was 1.40 a.m. I'm usually super sweaty and super thirsty at this point. So I went ahead and breastfed her. I gave her a little burp and change and then switched her to the other side. It's very exhausting getting up and doing all of this and it's easy to rush through it and maybe not give a full feed, but it is really important that I try to give her as full of feeding as possible so that she doesn't continue waking up a ton more times through the night. Obviously, a full baby will sleep longer. But at the same time, I do keep the night feedings very business-like, meaning I don't do any cuddles, the lights are dim, the sound machine stays on, and I don't even fully pull her out of her swaddle. So she's basically drowsy throughout the feeding and I can easily get her back down to sleep when we're all done. Then I usually take a little bathroom break, switch out my breast pads if they are soaked, and I also took that nasty cough syrup. I seriously hate cough syrup and rehydrated and it was 2.04 by the time I turned the lights back out. She did end up waking up three hours later at 4.37 a.m. I was clearly exhausted and just closed my eyes for this feeding. And yes, Richie's alarm does go off this early, although he just hit snooze today. I once again changed her diaper, burped her, and I tried to feed her on the other side, but she didn't take much, so she ended up going right back down to sleep. Good morning, guys. It is now 7... 17. That was a long night, huh? Mommy's tired. Are you tired? Okay, I've actually got my haka on one side now. I didn't use it throughout the night. I forgot to mention that, but I don't use it through the night feedings. So I'm pretty tired. Um, normally, or at least the past few days, she hasn't been waking up again after that 2 a.m. feeding. She would sleep from 2 to 6, which is great because that's like another four-hour stretch. So since I'm taking care of baby girl, Richie will go handle Jace. Jace usually gets up around 7.30 or so. And then after she's done feeding, I'll put her back down for like a little morning nap and I can go get ready for the day. Um, so that's when I can just shower and do my hair and, you know, try to make myself look and feel like a normal human being. <laughs> Okay guys, she is officially fed, changed, burped. The sun is coming up for the day and we're gonna have some morning cuddles. Nowadays mornings are pretty slow so I kind of take my time in bed with her for a bit before I'll put her down for her nap and then I'll go get ready for the day. I love you even though I'm exhausted. You make it all worth it. Mm. 
Oh, you did not. You did not just throw up in my mouth. <laughs> Girlfriend. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, it's okay. You're still worth it. You're still worth it, honey. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, a realistic night with my newborn. Please like this video. It really helps in the algorithm. Subscribe if you enjoy my content. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought or if you have any questions. Um, follow me over on Instagram at Nicole Lagreen to see our daily lives. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.